Market to Market is everywhere you are. Subscribe to Market to Market on YouTube, find us on the PBS video app to stream on demand, and add our three podcasts on your favorite podcasting app. Challenge would be for American agriculture to innovate. Uh, USDA we'll Secretary to Tom Vilsack was on Capitol Hill this week to answer a myriad of questions from the Senate Agriculture Committee. Top of mind for committee members was USDA's response to the threat of a global grain crisis. I appreciate the announcement from the USDA made this morning that will allow some additional flexibilities for those with expiring CRP contracts. While Bozeman celebrated the action, he urged USDA to take a step further to ensure an increase of acres for planting. One suggestion is looked to the past in the 2014 Farm Bill, landowners enrolled in the Conservation Reserve Program were given an opportunity to end their contracts early without penalty. We should give serious consideration to this, to this penalty-free incentive again until grain production returns to normal. I believe this flexibility would allow potentially millions of acres to return to food production. The world cannot afford for prime farmland to lie fallow. Under a rule change announced Thursday, participants in the last year of their Conservation Reserve Program agreement won't have to wait until October 1st to begin farming the CRP ground. We're basically suggesting that they can now voluntarily terminate without penalty for those roles that are now coming, or those acres that are now coming out of the program so that they'd be in a position to, to do work now. The one-time rule change is aimed at increasing plantable acres one of the ways the agency is addressing the forecasted world grain shortage. Some committee members voice concern over the use of the herbicide glyphosate, which some see as a needed tool on grain farming operations. The U.S. Department of Justice recently took a new unprecedented position on glyphosate that could cripple the effective use of this very important ag product that we count on. If our farmers cannot use safe, common sense, and effective products, what would happen to U.S. crop yields? We have to continue to look for ways in which we can invest in and encourage additional research and development uh, on a wide variety of, of initiatives, including crop protection. Uh, we need to continue to work with our, our industry to make sure that innovation uh, is in, that we invest in innovation. For Market to Market, I'm John Torpy.